Okay, watch fam, friends and family. So I'd like to show you what um, I'm working with here. Um, right now we have this bezel. It's chucked up and I need to do the refinishing. But before we do that, I'm going to show you the little maintenance project I have on the lapping machine here. We have these discs that enable us to do um, this work, get that angle correct. Um, but these discs, I don't know if you can see them, but see how shiny that disc is and you can see on my fingers that you know the sandpaper grit stuck on this disc is now smooth and that that shininess you're seeing is is metal debris from all the polishing that, that we do here. So that sandpaper needs to be replaced on that disc. This disc is a little bit grittier. Look at that. Now, this one might still work. I could still get the finish correct on, on this piece. Um, because although this is the roughest grit, it, it might be worn down enough to be gentle enough to do this job while still giving it that texture. Um, but I actually don't want to replace the sandpaper on these discs first because I would like to get the angle of the bezel correctly set up on this tailstock piece just so that I know the angle is correct because you really only get, you know, one or two tries on doing this. And when these discs have brand new paper on them, they're very rough, they're very abrasive, and you could potentially take off too much material from the bezel. So what I wanna do, I wanna get the angle right and test them, test the angle with these grits that are a little bit more gentle at the moment because they're more worn out. If that disc works and I see it's giving a nice finish, I'll keep it and I'll switch the papers later. But for now, I really want to get the angle correct and I will show you how I do that. Okay, so I've got the disc set up here in the lapping machine. I got this draw bar coming out here. And I'm going to do this by hand, getting the tail sock situated. Hope you all can see. Maybe a little closer view like that is best. Now, I know I've done more Yacht Master bezel refinishings, but for Yacht Master, you can have it angled like this. You can even change it a little bit, but it's more this 
vertical angle that you need to get right for the yacht master and you can still kind of move it this way because that bezel does have a little bit of a dome to it now this bezel is super flat that angle is crisp so you know we can't afford to keep this horizontal position moving. It needs to be stable, but it can't be at any type of angle other than 90 degrees. It can't be at any other type of angle other than 90 degrees straight up onto the disc because the direction of the disc when it spins goes down and right when it hits that down that's where it needs to strike on the bezel so as the disc is spinning and comes down it needs to hit perfectly straight so when we're turning the disc and spinning the bezel it's only coming into contact when it goes down. So you get that nice lined finish. So in order to lock this horizontal angle in place, we hand tighten it here and then when we get this angle lined up we're going to lock it with this key here and go on just like that and then you tighten down lock it so god this is really hard to show you because my arm gets in the way and i'm going to do it straight at it here. All right. Tighten that down. Now to get this angle, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna see how it matches. I'm just going to slowly spin the disc and see what we got. And no, it was not perfect. Getting a little better. Boy, what a stressful time this job is.
Okay, I'm liking that. Now I'm gonna show you. Okay, now I've just tested it several times. So, when we match it up, it's gonna hit right there. And you can actually see where I did some of the strikes. That was a little too close to the center. That test right there was pretty good. It covered a lot of surface area. That was too close to the outside. That was too close to the inside. And then the last test I did was right there. And that's great. I'm getting a nice line finish as well. So you can see that was too close to the um, inside. That test was a little too close to the outside. But we finally got some good ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the disc and the bezel simultaneously and get that finish all the way around. So now that we have the angle correct for the bezel to line up with the disc, the disc is actually giving us that correct finish that I'm looking for. So maybe this one 
doesn't need to be changed. But it would be nice. I don't know, it's looking really good. Um, I've done one small pass on it fully just to make sure that the angle is correct and it's looking super good. So what I'm doing here is the machine is on. I have it turning whoops, at about 100 revolutions per minute, which is actually quite slow. And as that disc turns, I'm going to be turning the bezel just like that. And like I said, you know, you only get one or two shots at it before you start peeling away steel off of that bezel. So I'm glad I did enough checking to make sure I got the angle correct. And I've done one preliminary check with a lapping machine on, getting a good strike all the way around. And um, the coverage of the refinishing is looking great. So I'm just gonna do it one last time. And then I will show you how we do the next step. And the next step will be getting that mirror finish that you see on the edge and on the inner edge and on the outer edge getting that mirror finish. But right now, which is looking really good, is that line finish, that radial finish. So here it is, showing you. And this is the last time I'm gonna do it because it's looking super But I'd like to show you guys a good angle. Without any of my fat ass in the way. Start the machine, rolling. Just like that, I'm done. I don't even want to go more than that. I might though.
super intense. Stressful for me. I really like to do a great job on these refinishing things. So let's see how it looks. Nice, we got a good line finish, good line finish on it. Super. That's 16 and 14, scuffs are gone. You know, we could just, Wipe this down with some alcohol or water. Get some of that debris off it. It would look so good. The inside of the ring is shiny enough. Got that mirror finish. Also the outside. But you know, still gonna touch up that mirror finish. Same concept of adjusting the tailstock. Just instead of this grit sandpaper, we use this cloth paper, which is embedded with a polishing compound. But you can see that's dirty as well. So sooner or later, maybe today, maybe another week, I'll be changing the sandpapers on all these. All right, so I'll show you. I'll do the mirror finish along the edges. Same deal, basically. I'm gonna turn the machine off, though. Pop this disc off. Lock this new one in. Ah. Now with this, slightly different. I want the angle, the horizontal angle to be perpendicular and but I want the vertical angle to be parallel And that 
will be how we put the mirror finish on the inside. But of course, I won't go full blast until I know it's perfect. And this is how I do that. So a little check. It's looking really good. And I'll just go a little faster. And I don't even need the machine to be turned on because this is just perfect the way it is. Now that's giving a nice mirror finish. Now I actually give some definition from where the, the lined radial finish starts and the mirror finish begins. Now for the edge. We can be a little bit more liberal with that. The outside edge has its own little angle. But this high polish is nice because there's no direction to it. It's uh, it's mirror finish, so it doesn't leave any marks where it strikes. But we still want to do a good job. Give it a little test. like that. And that's that. It's all done. So, 
For now, I'm gonna clean up and see you in the workshop with a nice clean bezel, show you the final results. I'll have the watch all together for you. And we'll also go over my little contest if you stayed with me this whole time. So here are the final results. Polishing is finished of the bezel. Everything's done. I think the bezel looks really good. Tell me what you think of the video. I think the watch looks great. It's running super good. Hands are lining up. Bezel looks fantastic. It's waterproof. I don't know if it gets any better than this. But I'd like uh, to thank you all for watching, for uh, subscribing, and yeah. Just uh, one last look at this watch before I go home. Hope everyone's having a great day. I know I feel much better after finishing this.